Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to, well, day four, but um, I'm going to give you a quick update on the progress from day three. Let's start with the really important things. We had hot water last night. You don't realise quite how much you miss it until it's taken away. So the guys were able to hook up the cylinder. Um, we heated it via the immersion heater. So uh, we just use our normal electric immersion heater. But it was lovely to have hot water after a few days. Um, as you can see by the weather today, things have changed a little bit. We had a lovely sunny day yesterday. We had a lot of uh, solar, which we used to heat hot water but it rained overnight and it's a bit miserable and gray this morning. But as I said, we had a lot of progress yesterday. So as you can see, the electrics are coming on for the heat pump. Um, we've got the consumer unit in, all the cabling's in place. The, uh, the cables are all neatly clipped to the wall now. So we don't have to worry about those uh, moving around. And today the guys will get the down pipes that will come down and go into the back of the air source heat pump, get those installed today. So another thing that I was asked about yesterday was what about the weather compensation sensor? Well, that's been installed. If I flip the camera around, and if you look up there, that little gray box there, that's on the north side or the north-ish facing side of my house. That's what we'll be using to drive the weather compensation algorithm. As you can see, a lot happening in the tank cupboard, um, a lot of pipings in place. I did ask the plumber about the extra uh, tank that was above. Apparently that's a buffer. Think of it a bit like an overflow uh, from your car radiator. So if there's too much pressure in the cylinder, um, there's a balloon inside that tank, it allows it to, uh, to vent some of the excess pressure into that cylinder. There will be another tank that goes into the loft today, um, something called a volumizer, and I'll learn more about what that does later on today. We also got all the rest of the radiators in place. So all the rooms have new radiators with the exception of our towel radiators, which were, were all up to spec. So all the rooms have got their new radiators now. We did come across one minor snag. Um, when the guys were installing the radiator in our kitchen, they found that there was a small dent and a chip in the paintwork in the front of it. And they said that, you know, that's a chipping, something that's happened during shipping and it's not acceptable and they've already uh, ordered a new replacement. Hopefully that will be here today and they'll just swap it out to make sure that we've got all nice new radiators to start. So the plan for today is to get the heat pump physically hooked up um, into the system, get everything ready, and then hopefully on Friday we'll do all the commissioning and turn the system on live. So that's it for today's video. Apologies to those of you that asked to see more of the dogs. Um, it is a wet, miserable morning and the dogs are curled up inside in the warm. Strange for dogs that really like cold weather. They, say they don't really like being out in the rain. With that, I'm gonna sign off. Oh, one thing that did come up yesterday, um, some of you asked about the toilet that opened itself as I walked into the room. Those are our Japanese toilets. If you want to know more about those, do let me know. Happy to make a short video on them. They're not that complicated, but they are kind of cool. With that, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.